Uh, so I read uh, Kira Kira by Cynthia Karohara. Uh, it was published in 2004 by Athenian Books, uh, a division of uh, Simon and Schuster. This is a story of uh, Katie and, and Lynn, two Japanese American sisters who initially lived in Iowa uh, with their family who owned a Japanese American uh, grocery store. But after the family uh, lost the, the grocery store, they decided to move to Georgia uh, so that the parents could work at a chicken hatchery. The conditions at the chicken hatchery were not very good, though, uh, and, their, and their parents worked uh, long hours. Uh, initially, Katie and Lynn adjusted well to the move, though, um, and but a few years later, just as uh, Lynn was entering uh, adolescence, she uh, she got seriously ill and initially diagnosed with anemia, um, but she didn't seem to get any better and um, and was uh, finally diagnosed with lymphoma. The rest of the book focuses on the struggle of dealing with Lynn's medical expenses and illness and Katie uh, taking care of her sick sister, uh, even though it was really hard and challenging at times. Um, Lynn, unfortunately, uh, ends up dying a couple of years after that, um, just before her 16th birthday, and, um, and, uh, and Lynn seems, and, I mean, Katie seems to adjust, uh, okay with the death and, um, and prefers to, uh, remember her sister in, in a good way, um, and the situation with the family improves, and they decide to take a uh, take a vacation to California, um, where uh, Katie remembers uh, her sister, and, and the first word uh, Lynn had uh, taught her, which is kirikira, which means shining or glittering in Japanese. Um, so. So Katie has that lesson that her sister taught her to always look at the kira kira side of things, the shining, the glittering side of things, the good side of things. Um, there are no illustrations in this book uh, because it is for older children and young adults. Um, but I did find it in the uh, children's section of my uh, local library. Um, the activity I suggested uh, would be a, a crash discussion about res resilience and coping skills, and after that, a writing activity in which um, students talk about uh, what they uh, what they would have said to Katie after Lynn's death, and um, and and how they would uh, cope with difficult situations. Um, and whether they've had to face any difficult situations and how they've handled them.